What we expected did not happen in a Fulton County courtroom today, the second day of the hearing on the actions of Fulton County District Attorney Fonnie Willis. We thought Willis would take the stand again as attorneys for the defendants in her election interference case try to prove her misconduct. But as Fox 5 IT reporter Randy Travis tells us, we did not hear from the DA today, Randy, which was kind of a surprise. It was, Christine. Yeah, far fewer fireworks today uh, than yesterday. That's when DA Fonnie Willis testified for three hours, denying allegations that she hired Nathan Wade to uh, funnel tax dollars back to herself and get a, a financial benefit from his hiring. Did not hear from her today, but we did hear from her father, who testified that he had to move into Fonnie Willis's home after she moved out because of death threats involving this case. And he said he never saw Nathan Wade there. There have been so many death threats, uh, uh, and they said they were going to blow up the house. They were going to kill her. They were going to kill me. They were going to kill my grandchildren. I mean, on and on and on. It just uh, it became, and I was concerned for her safety. John Floyd painted a frightening picture of what life was like for his only daughter after she announced her office was investigating Donald Trump. So much so, Fonnie Willis had to move out of the South Fulton home she built. Somebody needed to protect the house, and I stayed there to basically take care of the house, uh, to take care of the yard, to take care of that. Also, somebody sprayed, um, um, again, the B word and the N word on the house, and uh, I don't think my daughter even knew that. Uh, I cleaned it off. Defense attorneys argue a romance between Willis and special prosecutor Nathan Wade constitutes a conflict of interest so egregious the election interference charges must be dismissed. They also argue Willis benefited financially from hiring Wade because the two traveled on expensive vacations. Both testified Thursday that Willis repaid Wade for her share of those trips, but had no receipts to prove it because she reimbursed him with cash. That's not unusual, said Floyd. Your Honor, I'm not trying to be racist, okay? But it's a black thing, okay? You know, I was trained, and most black folks, they hide cash, or they keep cash. We also learned Wade was not the DA's first choice to be special prosecutor. Former Georgia Governor Roy Barnes said Willis offered him the job, but he turned it down, wary of similar death threats he experienced when he removed the Confederate emblem from the state flag years ago. I told uh, DA Willis I didn't. I'd live with uh, bodyguards uh, for four years, and I didn't like it. And I wasn't going to live with bodyguards for the rest of my life. Those are the witnesses this morning. This afternoon, the only witness has been uh, Terrence Bradley. He is the former law partner of Nathan Wade and once represented Mr. Wade in his divorce case. He was supposed to be the star witness. He was even described as that by Judge uh, Scott McAfee early on uh, as they were trying to plan out this hearing. He has been anything but helpful to the defense so far. Um, denying that he knew anything about a relationship uh, before uh, Nathan Wade was hired here in Fulton County and refusing to answer many of the other questions, claiming attorney-client privilege. Much more on what he had to say and a lot more in this case coming up at 5 and 6. For now, reporting live outside the Fulton County Courthouse, Randy Travis, Fox 5 News. All right, Randy, we will see you in the next hour with more. Thanks so much. Developing news out of New York now.